Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for November 9th, read by Charlie L. from St. Paul, Minnesota. AA thoughts for the day. Growth. It seems to me that the primary object of any human being is to grow, as God intended, that being the nature of all growing things. Our search must be for what reality we can find, which includes the best definition and feeling of love that we can acquire. If the capability of loving is in the human being, then it must surely be in his creator." Theology helps me in that many of its concepts cause me to believe that I live in a rational universe under a loving God, and that my own irrationality can be chipped away little by little. This is, I suppose, the process of growth for which we are intended. Bill W. Letter, 1958. As Bill sees it, page 295. Thought to consider. All you have to do to change your life is change your mind. Acronyms. Who? Me? Willingness. Honesty. Open-mindedness must exist. Just for today. Response. From a small white card. Yet I had a spiritual experience the night I called AA, though I didn't realize it until later. Two angels came, carrying a real message of hope. It told me about AA. My sponsor laughed when I denied that I had prayed for help. I told him that the only time I had mentioned God was when, in my despair at being unable to get either drunk or sober, I had cried out, God, what am I going to do? He replied, I believe that prayer was a pretty good one for the first one from an atheist. It got an answer, too. Brighton, Colorado, USA. Came to Believe, page 25. Daily Reflections. Stepping into the sunlight. But first of all, we shall want sunlight. Nothing much can grow in the dark. Meditation is our step out into the sun. As Bill sees it, page 10. Sometimes I think I don't have time for prayer and meditation, forgetting that I always found the time to drink. It is possible to make time for anything I want to do if I want it badly enough. When I start the routine of prayer and meditation, it's a good idea to plan to devote a small amount of time to it. I read a page from our fellowship's books in the morning and say, Thank you, God. When I go to bed at night... As prayer becomes a habit, I will increase the time spent on it without even noticing the foray it makes into my busy day. If I have trouble praying, I just repeat the Lord's Prayer because it really covers everything. Then I think of what I can be grateful for and say a word of thanks. I don't need to shut myself in a closet to pray. It can be done even in a room full of people. I just remove myself mentally for an instant. As the practice of prayer continues, I will find I don't need words, for God can and does hear my thoughts through silence. As Bill sees it, in the sunlight at last, when the thought was expressed that there might be a God personal to me, I didn't like the idea. So my friend Ebby made what then seemed a novel suggestion. He said, why don't you choose your own conception of God? That statement hit me hard. It melted the icy intellectual mountain in whose shadow I had lived and shivered many years. I stood in the sunlight at last. It may be possible to find explanations of spiritual experiences such as ours, but I have often tried to explain my own and have succeeded only in giving the story of it. I know the feeling it gave me and the results it has brought, but I realize I may never fully understand its deeper why and how. 
1. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 12. 2. AA Comes of Age, page 45. Big Book Quote Abandon yourself to God as you understand God. Admit your faults to Him and to your fellows. Clear away the wreckage of your past. Give freely of what you find and join us. We shall be with you in the fellowship of the Spirit, and you will surely meet some of us as you trudge the road of happy destiny. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. A vision for you, page 164. 24 hours a day. A a thought for the day. I have learned to be less negative and more positive. I used to take a negative view of almost everything. Most people, in my estimation, were bluffing. There seemed to be very little good in the world, but lots of hypocrisy and sham. People could not be trusted. They would take you if they could. All churchgoers were partly hypocrites. It seemed I should take everything with a grain of salt. That was my general attitude toward life. Now I am more positive. I believe in people and in their capabilities. There is much love and truth and honesty in the world. I try not to run people down. Life now seems worthwhile, and it is good to live. Am I less negative and more positive? Meditation for the day. Think of God as a great friend and try to realize the wonder of that friendship. When you give God not only worship, obedience, and allegiance, but also close companionship, then he can feel that he and you are working together. He could do things for you, and you can do things for him. Your prayers become more real to you when you feel that God counts on your friendship and you count on his. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may think of God as my friend. I pray that I may feel that I am working for him and with him. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Charlie L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.